Bulldogs, take your marks. Get set. Off you go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a track. And with the sound of the first starting gun, the track at Knapp Field at the Dana Thompson Recreation Park in Manchester was inaugurated. It took a little while longer than first anticipated as the COVID pandemic slowed things down a little bit, but on Monday, April 5th, a long-awaited running track will finally give the Burn Burton track teams their own home base, one that all their earlier teams never had. The new facility not only boasts a brand new oval for running events, but also has spaces and infrastructure for shot put, pole vaulting, long jump, javelin, and discus events. Mark Tashin, the headmaster at Burn Burton Academy, and town manager John O'Keefe addressed the crowd of onlookers, mostly members of the track team and town and school officials, and made some opening comments to mark the occasion. I want to tell you something. I arrived at Burn Burton in 2008. As you know, before the pandemic, we used to have assemblies every Monday. So one Monday in assembly, some students get up and they say, we want everyone to come out for the track team. We don't have a track. We've got Dave. Dave Curtis was the track coach. There's Dave Curtis, track coach in 2008. They say, we've got Dave. We don't have a track. Well, today, April 5th, 2021, I am happy to, re to report that Burn Burton Academy now has a track. I think before I start, I want to recognize um, the efforts of the Headmaster Tashton and Athletic Director Dave Maselli. Uh, collectively, they've made an enormous impact on athletics in recent years. Without their leadership, this project would have been impossible. Speaking of impossible, track and field shows us that the human spirit makes the impossible possible. Track and field is the purest of all athletic pursuits. Speed, endurance, and strength are measured in minutes, seconds, and even hundreds of seconds. Feet, inches, and fractions of inches. More than any other sport, track and field pushes the absolute physical limits of the human body. Rabbi Michael Cohen, himself a track athlete when he was a high school student, followed them with some additional remarks. So I ran track and field for six years. If I learned knowledge in the classroom, I learned grit, as Mr. Tashkin would say, here. I learned tenacity here. I learned if you run a 100 meter dash, you run 110 yards and you finish it completely. A metaphor for life today. You don't slow up when you see the finish line. I can still hear Mr. Barnett screaming across the track in Ewing, New Jersey, Cohen, you're running so slow, it looks like you're going backwards. <laughs> I was not great at track and field, but I did it for six years. I could run a 55 8 quarter, or it was 58 5. My, my dyslexia always gets eight. me. We'll go for 55 <laughs> 8. I was always the first one out of the starting blocks. For the first half second of the race, I was in first place. But I learned to compete against myself and make myself better. Students will now have a state-of-the-art facility to train and compete on, said Carson Cutler, one of the team's co-captains. Yeah, uh, we've been waiting to have a track for a super long time now, and uh, being able to get something this nice right off, uh, or at least for my senior season, but for some freshmen and underclassmen, uh, this is really going to help us uh, improve just every aspect of our training, and uh, I think it's going to help us maybe win a state championship, but... Who knows? <laughs> Located along the entryway to the rec park from Bonnet Street, the track will be open to the public when not in use by Burn Burton or for other track events. It was already being put to that use by local residents. For the GNI TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.